What is going on, my fourth wall travelers? My name is Jimmy and Luigi, and welcome to another reaction video. Now, <clears throat> I am doing something a bit different with the camera, actually. So I hope you all like it. But anyways, today we're going to be reacting to this to uh, seven behind the scenes facts about Bendy's uh, chapter three. So let's get started. Classic Meatly intro. Hi there, I'm the Meatly. I'm a game developer, I'm a gamer, and I'm, I'm a, a puppet. puppet. <laughs> Holy cow, the release of Chapter 3 was amazing. You guys are unbelievable. The other big news? We reached over 200,000 subscribers on this channel. That's nuts. Thank you, everybody. In return, I promise I'll start doing a lot more videos and fun things coming up. Before I get into my list of Chapter 3 things that I want to talk about, here's some quick announcements. I worked like crazy to get an official Bendy Halloween mask in time for this year, but I just couldn't make it happen. But, as a fun solution, you can now go to our website, BendyInTheInkMachine.com, and download a printable mask pattern to wear this Halloween. So if you have no idea what you're going to be, here's something free just for you. For those playing Chapter 3 and felt that it was too fetchy, that, that's a word, right? Fetchy? We put out a mega patch last week that totally reorganized the mission section and makes the whole game feel so much better as an experience. Uh -huh. Try it out! Finally, I just want to say I have received your thousands of emails asking for new shirts and things in our Bendy store. I have heard your pleas and added some new designs in there, so check them out. You got some Boris in there, got some Heavenly Toys. A really cool assortment now, so go check that out. Okay, that's everything. On to the good stuff. Here are seven behind-the-scenes facts about Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 3. Here comes the Butcher Gang. Bendy and the Ink Machine is a very strange tale filled with all sorts of twisted characters. In Chapter 3, we meet the Butcher Gang. And I gotta say, I had way too much fun designing these characters. They look weird. They're some of my favorites so far. But what are their names, anyway? Well, some people have looked through the game files or he pulled up their ink version names. The Piper the Striker, and the Fisher. But what's their real names in the Bendy cartoons? Well, this is Barley, this is Charlie, and this is Edgar. Working Where's Maya? The story of Bendy has a growing cast of complicated human characters. So when I sat down to write the role of a toy factory foreman, I specifically wanted an Irish voice. I even named him Sean. After auditioning several different voices, I couldn't find one that really fit what I was looking for. I even tried doing an Irish accent myself. It didn't go so well. Yeah. But then it dawned on me that Jack Septiguy had exactly the voice that we were trying to go for. So I sent him an email, and he actually emailed me back and was super excited to be a part. We had a great time working with you, Jack. Thanks so much for everything you do. The Haunted Elevator. Every developer will tell you about something that gave them a lot of trouble during production. For Chapter 3, our problem child was the elevator. It seemed like a simple idea. It goes up and down. How hard could it be? Then we realized we wanted the elevator to do some very specific things. Some things I'm not sure the players have even noticed it does. Time after time, the elevator would bug out during production. It would sometimes trap the player inside, sometimes it would trap the player outside. It was just a big pain in the neck that I'm glad we solved, but it took way longer than expected. Yes, that Six explains why chapter 3 was months. a bit late. A lot of people think Bendy is made by a large company. Truth is, it's still six crazy people doing the best they can from their own homes. But what's even more crazy is what we added to Chapter 3 in just four months. For all you developers out there, we added full AI systems with pathfinding, multiple animated cutscenes, a fully designed environment ten times the size of Chapters 1 and 2 combined, new enemy types all with multiple animations and behaviors, dozens of new props all with dozens of new hand-drawn textures, <coughs> Four new weapons, new hiding and stealth mechanics, complex particle effects and shaders, a ton of new music and sounds, and over an hour of spoken dialogue. All of this spanning through millions of lines of code. Not to mention updates to all previous chapters. All I can say is, yes, we are super tired. <laughs> the projectionist that almost wasn't. The projectionist at the end of chapter 3 is a lot of people's favorite addition to the world of Bendy. But he almost didn't make the game. With everything we had to do, we thought for sure we'd have to scrap something. The Projectionist was the first on the list to get rid of. We put off his creation for a long time before we excitedly added him back to the game. And I'm so glad we did, because he's just super fun to hide from. 
three Fuck scary you, minutes. Now here comes the real scary story of Chapter 3. Every developer's nightmare. The day of Chapter 3's release, our upload to Steam took way longer than we expected. We did not have a game to release all morning. All we could do was wait. Fortunately, with just three minutes before our release time, it finally worked, allowing oh. all the Bendy fans to play the game. Down the drain. When you're an indie developer, you can't always afford to be fancy. So the toilet flush sound you hear in the bathroom of Boris's safe house is indeed a recording of code creator Mike Mood's own toilet. Yes. Way to go, Mike. All right, that's all I've got for now. I'm the Meatly saying, until we meet again. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Well, there we go. That was uh, some of behind the scenes facts about bending the ink machine chapter three by Mr. Meatly himself. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. Blast the like button. And as the Meatly said, until we meet again, stay weirder.